We are going live from outside today. It's my goal this year to be outside more, <laughs> especially while I'm in Florida uh, in the winter and there is no snow on the ground. The sun is out today. It's hard to complain. Um, but as you can tell from the title of this live today, we just wanted to pop on here and talk about some other um, print on demand programs, platforms, platforms, um, and talk about, you know, print on demand in general, uh, and then specifically about KDP a little bit later, but just the idea of, um, you know, we're getting more questions now of people are like, okay, you guys have covered merch. You've taught on that. And while we want to go back and kind of restructure everything we're doing with that to make everything a little bit more streamlined, um, we know that this mm -hmm. year we talked about uh, other, well, we said we'd be teaching on other print on demands. Um, so just to talk about that a little bit with, with you guys uh, and let you know kind of how we view the print on demand business as a whole. We've talked a lot about merch, almost specifically only about merch, um, but that's not, you know, it's one part of our business. It's not even talked about as it's just a tool in our tool belt, um, but I don't think we've made it clear on how we see all of print on demand or the direction that um, you know we hope a lot of you guys are able to move in so i don't know if you want to speak on that at all yeah i guess it's more for us in our business we see it like nothing else had a tool in our business we do product lines we go after niches we i think very cleverly use merch in a way to gather information to help us move forward a lot of the print on demand platforms are free that we use but there are places Kind of like Etsy, where you have to pay for the listing before we do any of that or spend money on anything. We want to make sure that we're testing ideas, testing niches, testing designs, testing keywords. At least gathering enough, enough, gathering up enough information before we move forward to move forward with confidence. I think the same thing with kind of private label. A lot of people do private label um, inexpensively so to where you kind of buy the product locally or source it inexpensively and then run ads to gather information from Amazon and get that data we were doing that I just thought instead of spending all this money up front what can we do free to start gaining information to start moving forward I think that's ultimately what I'm trying to teach I think we I don't want to say we stumbled into merch it was something that we were doing and then from other people kind of saying oh you guys should be teaching and helping people that's how we started this group and now just as we evolve, we want this group to evolve. We have spent a lot of time, hopefully you guys can hear us, it's getting real windy out here. We've spent a lot of time on merch. We are going to, like Matthias said, restructure, lay a solid foundation with merch, and then start adding in other things. We are not, with this class that's coming up, it's not a KDP class. It's just one part of KDP, which is the art. We are assuming, I guess, and taking a leap of faith we know there are people in this community that are doing both merch and KDP, and the biggest problem that we're noticing is the art piece. Inside KDP, they offer a cover creator. It's not very good. Because of the tools that we use, we streamline that part of our business, and we want to be able to show you guys from the art perspective at least a, hopefully a mind shift. Oh, I can use the same tool that I'm using for merch and create covers for KDP what else can I do to make these businesses work together? It's something that we have in our business that we've structured. It's only because we've built it over the last two years. I'm now trying to deconstruct our business to be able to teach it to you guys. I think we need to do a better job of packaging our information for merch and then kind of make it so you guys can step off of that information into other parts of your business. I Again, another assumption I'm making is most people in here run multiple businesses. They might mostly be on Amazon, but we want to show you how to kind of diversify and not just be solely Amazon sellers, but you can have different legs on your table, multiple income streams. That's what I'm really trying to help people with. I think Nathaniel has that same goal, but I think, I think because he's younger, a lot of people go to him with a idea for a business and a side hustle and that's where he thrives. I kind of thrive with, okay, you have this business, now how do you add on these other parts to your business? It's just something that we are figuring out. This year has just got started, so we've learned a ton just in January, but we're attempting to 
build this community, build this community's understanding in a way that it makes sense so we don't just go, oh, they're all over the place, they're switching gears. This is a attempt at an idea that we have that using uh, Nathaniel's knowledge to be able to teach KDP just the art, the cover creation, will hopefully spark ideas and help us instead of just going, oh, those guys, I don't know what they're doing. They did a class on KDP, that's confusing, I don't get it. That's what our attempt is to kind of spark ideas and hopefully show you guys, okay, this is what we're talking about. This is the bigger picture. Now let us help you move in a direction where you can have multiple streams of income inside the print on demand business. Yeah. Steven's done a really good job of, you know, for our own personal business, finding out how the effort that he's putting in <laughs> to find good places to put, you know, products now. It's it was not almost, just t-shirts. I don't want to cut you off. It was almost forced. It was because I was doing private label wholesale, <laughs> resale, all these other things. And then Nathaniel wanted my help with merch. I was like, okay, I can't run all of these businesses separately. I have to find a way to make them work together. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I think you said I found it. It wasn't really a found as much as I was forced <laughs> to figure this out. Well, he did figure it out. <laughs> um, and so that's, you know, helped us. I think from the art perspective, for me, it was fairly simple. Like, yeah, we can use these designs on multiple products in multiple different ways. But for him, the research side of it was, you know, that was a big undertaking to figure out how can we streamline this thing so all the research goes. And now our system that we've taught through Merch, and we are laying a much solid, much more solid foundation um, as far as our teaching goes for merch, that can be just applied to other places. So it's not like, okay, we've covered merch, now let's move on to that. We have to learn a completely different way of doing research. You gotta learn completely different ways to do the tools. Like you gotta think about this thing completely different. Like that is not what we want to do. And that's why we've taken so much time on merch. Uh, I know Steven is not the biggest fan of merch. It's not his end game by any means, it's not my end game either, um, but it's such a great place to learn you know, those foundational pieces that you're going to need. Okay, this is, you know, how you need to think about, uh, you know, the research you're doing. Here's niches. Here's how you qualify these niches with our five-step test. Like, here's all the steps and processes that go in place to running a t-shirt business or, or a merch-based business. Now let's just move those same principles that you learn into the next thing. Um, so like Steven said, this KDP class that we just announced on Monday that we're going to be teaching um, it, we don't want you to think that this is like the boot camp for KDP. I don't want people to get the you know misunderstanding of just like, oh, they're finally teaching on KDP. I'll take this one class and then I'll fully understand everything I need to do for KDP. This class is more to solve a problem that we're seeing in KDP that I was like, hey, I get to teach about art again. <laughs> I'm all about that. Let me go teach art to just another, you know, people similar mind and doing similar things but just on a different platform uh, and we know some of you guys in this group are doing kdp uh, i've talked with multiple people <laughs> in this group who are doing kdp so that's why we just wanted to offer it over here hey if you're already doing kdp you'll know how much the cover creator sucks and how much of a pain it is to use here's just another option another way of looking at it to get art done um, you guys know I'm, I'm not trying to teach on photoshop or any super in-depth art class it's going to be something that anybody can apply to their business uh, that's going to make things, you know, a little bit smoother as far as how they're run over at KDP. On I guess KDP. that's the difficult piece that I'm having is our business is run off of programs that we pay for, a lot of information that we're gathering. We have teams of people. I'm trying to take the essence of what we're doing and boil it down so anybody can do it. This, um, I can't remember the name of the program that Dale uses. Anybody can use that program. We've taught it a few times. We have talked about it in this group multiple times we feel very confident telling more people how to use it because of the ease of how to use it and that it is free the way that we do research is on amazon that's how we're doing all of our organic searches to start understanding the customer base everything that we're attempting to do moving forward is to show the majority of people how to do things and do it for free and then once you kind of understand the basics then start building on top of it so, that's where we're at with KDP. I was just reading that. Yeah, Sorry, I, was, <laughs> I was too. Um, you know, in merch and KDP are not like where we see this thing ending. We're not saying the KDP business, or sorry, we're not saying the print-on-demand business just to talk about only Amazon's platforms. There are other platforms outside of Amazon, um, you know, some of them that we've taught a little bit here with other people's help um, that we are super interested in diving deeper into and being able to bring those to this community as well because we know that people are having success with them. Um, the way that we 
have built our businesses, we just are constantly working on our system so that anything that we do can fit inside of that system. Every time we tackle a new print on demand, it's not, okay, let's completely reorganize everything. Let's hire new staff to help us over there. It's like, okay, how can this work with what our, we're already doing? Uh, and I think that aligns with a lot of people in this group of like, that's what we want to do. Build a system that's going to work for merch and then be able to plug other things into it. Uh, and then, you know, if you're like us, you kind of want to walk away from that as well. And hopefully it will just keep, you know, generating and keeping everyone that you have employed over there, staffed and, you know, happy. Um, so that's what we're working towards. Um, we think, you know, it's exciting. Like, I think it was Marsha who said it, like, you know, we've talked about the designs that you make. You should be viewing those as assets. They're not just a piece of artwork that you can put solely on merch. Uh, Amazon doesn't care where else you're using those designs. So why not put them on other platforms, on other products, you know, or other communities or whatever you're trying to do with that like don't just think about this one design or this one shirt listing that i made like that's the only place it can go we talk about split testing we talk about doubling down we talked about a lot of things inside of this community um, kind of like pointing towards how you know we're using these products in other ways and the other platforms that we're using them on so yeah i want to say hello to everybody that's on here sorry the screen that we have is sideways and then as soon as like a new message comes up it's kind of just pushes everything away yeah, we so only we get can't to see like, like one thing yeah um, but it's fine uh yeah so that's i don't want to feel at. like i'm ignoring anybody we saw some questions they just kind of flew by as yeah. new people jump in and whatever's going on no, i think we get most people again just trying to be outside more it's not the <laughs> ideal setup this is not our green screen down here we don't have this beautiful sun inside the office but i wanted to do it from the beach but it's still too cold to be going to the beach and it's probably real loud at the beach right now but Hopefully, you guys, um, you know, will join us over there if that's a fit for you. Again, that's always where our heart is at. We're not just trying to push a class to everybody in this community. Um, we're trying to tell you up front, this is probably not for everybody in this community. If you are in KDP, this art class we think will help you, um, but it's not going to teach you how to use KDP. Um, if you're interested in KDP, I mean, there's a ton of resources out there, and it's, you know, you, it is something you can teach yourself. So I would, you know, it's just like merch. It's free to sign up. There's actually no way waiting list over there so if you're interested in it and this is like what sparks that interest please go over there and check it out um but you know this teaching that we're going to do is for people who probably already understand the platform a little bit have listed a book or two and just frustrated with the process that's what we like to do also is just help <laughs> take away some of that frustration especially when it comes to art um you know i love to demystify graphic design i don't want it to be seem like only graphic designers can make you know book covers that's just not true and especially with the platforms and all the technology that's come out um, recently to help us do that oh it's cold everywhere yeah sorry yeah everyone's complaining <laughs> sorry, about not it sorry. being cold <laughs> come down down and visit us in florida we got more than enough work <laughs> for you guys to help us out with <laughs> I think that's it. We just wanted to clarify kind of what we have planned moving forward and to address this KDP because I know Nathaniel had a lot of people messaging him just saying, oh, not, are you, is this encompassing all of KDP? And it's not. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to learn about everything. Hopefully in future coming up soon, we'll be able to talk about some things to kind of get you guys set up for the ideas that we have moving forward. But we just wanted to address KDP is just the cover creator and this group we're going to start trying to build off of the merch understanding and take the information that you have and help you grow more businesses so you have more, or not more businesses more income streams for your business yeah more legs to that table as you say so i think that's all we've got for now to just answer jacob real quick we're in beautiful sunny florida st petersburg yeah, tampa area so that's where we're at but all right guys thanks so much for joining us and we will see you later this week Thanks guys for checking out the video. My name is Steven. This is my brother Nathaniel. Together we are the Wingman. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out our other videos or like, comment, and subscribe on this one.